guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year today is new year's day and i thought i would film a little like reset for the new year with me because our house is a mess we still have all of our christmas decorations up there's some organization i need to do and i also need to sit down at my desk and go over like work goals for the new year so i thought i would take you along with me as i do all of that and also whatever other shenanigans we get up to this morning ron's having I some cereal now. oh you need more milk yeah! What do you say? Peace. Good morning, dog. How'd you sleep last night? Walk on my butt. Walk on my butt. Ha ha ha. anything else you want to say? No. No, okay. It's so my mom put it closer to me. Oh, okay. Look, my mom. That's your, uh, my, look, she your mom. Yummy. Are you going to take some video on your camera today for the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, I thought we might keep up the uh, Rowan cam because it was so cute for Christmas if he happens to take any clips. So keep an eye out for that in either this video or future vlogs because I just thought it would be fun. Good morning, Sissy. How are you? Did you have a good Christmas? Good morning, Smooshy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good morning. Mm. I've been a little under the weather the last couple of days. I've caught a tiny little cold. But, Hi, uh, Daddy. Not COVID, thank you. Hello. I'm home. Before I get started on our little New Year's reset, I wanted to take a second to thank today's sponsor, which is GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 10,000 pairs of prescription glasses and sunglasses from in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and also designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and more at up to 70% off. I personally have gotten all of my glasses at Glasses USA for years, so when they reached out to work with me, I was super excited. These are the ones that I picked out most recently, and I absolutely love the clear frames. These are so cute. These are called the Atoda Milani. I have a lot of the Atoda glasses. I think they're my favorite brand. Shopping at Glasses USA is super easy. They have a quiz you can take and they'll automatically match you to the best frames for your style and your face shape, which is super helpful because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming to try to find glasses because there are so many options out there. And they also have a virtual try-on tool. So once you find a few pairs you think you might like, you can upload a picture of yourself and see what you would look like in those glasses. It's also a risk-free shopping experience, meaning that you can get 100% of your money back if you don't love your frames, they offer free shipping and free returns within 14 days. I also picked up this really cool pair. It's like a tortoise shell, but they're pink tortoise shell, which is really cool. These are the Muse 8071s, and I love the round shape. This is kind of always what I go for, but I thought that this tortoise shell was a little bit different and cool. If you're looking for some new glasses this new year, I highly recommend checking out glassesusa.com. The link will be down in my description. And thank you again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, step one of our reset is cleaning up <laughs> and doing the dishes. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Okay, but we're not gonna 
you're not going to write in that. Mommy's going to write in this because this is Mommy's very fancy notebook from Uncle John. Look at how stinking pretty this embroidered notebook is. Uh, by the way, a lot of you have been asking. Thank you so much. Very kind. Uh, my brother-in-law is doing better. Uh, they're thinking no long-term damage, but he's just very sore. Sore? <laughs> sore doesn't even seem to like cover the level of pain that he's in, though. Very, very, okay, well, just, he's in a lot of pain. He's in a lot of pain. He said it's getting better and better every day, so that's good. But it looks like he's going to be okay, but it was it was a pretty nasty fall. Uh, I just put Junebug down for her nap, and I thought I would just do a quick little jot down of some 2023 goals. I already made my vision board, which I think I showed a few vlogs back. I'll pop it up here so you guys can see it again. I always make one of those at the beginning of the year, and I set it as my desktop background, so I see it every time I go on my computer, which is really nice. But I also like to put pen to paper and uh, actually like write down some things that aren't just like images. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just try to kind of get myself together. I feel like it always helps to start the year with intention. Are you going to take a picture of that? Rowan's been loving his little camera. No, it's on video. Oh, it's on video? Are you vlogging? Okay, you want to sit here and watch mommy write? Oh, yes. You can write New Year's resolutions. Like, Mama, here, you want to give it to me? To Santa Claus. Oh, you're writing a, a letter to Santa Claus for next year? Yes, yes, now. What are you what are you saying in your letter? Happy Merry Christmas. Oh, you're saying Merry Christmas to Santa, that's so nice. <laughs> All right, while Rowan is writing his letter to Santa, <laughs> I thought I would share some of my goals with you guys. I have quite a few of them, so I'm just gonna go through some of the bigger ones. So I split it up into different categories. So I have relationships, personal development, health, work, home, and leisure. So for relationships, some of my goals are to go to at least 10 girls' nights this year. I have a friend who hosts a monthly girls' night and I wanna try to go to most, if not all of them. I wanna do a date night with Matt every other week. That's something we really haven't been prioritizing that I think we should. And I want to do a weekly one-on-one -on -one craft or sensory activity with Rowan. I did 24 of them in December, so I think one a week is very doable. Oh, good job. For personal development, I want to read some mental health books and I also want to take a course on world religions. For health, I want to keep my current routine of working out three times a week. I'm still doing that with future and I think the three times a week schedule is really good for me. I would love to do it more, but honestly, I don't have the time or energy. I think three is a good doable goal. I want to continue doing therapy twice a month. I want to really get on top of meal planning and prepping every single week because that's an area I'm lacking in that I feel like, you know, I'm doing all this working out, but my nutrition isn't great. So I want to step that up this year. And I I just want to start a mindful wake up routine. So I want to try to start waking up before the kids um, and waking up with my body's natural rhythm. Um, so I'm going to try out some different apps or like maybe the hatch alarm clock. I'm not sure. Um, but that's something that I definitely want to start working on this month. So I'm saying it now. Hold me to it. For work, I would love to hit 75,000 YouTube subscribers. That's a big goal, so I don't know if it'll happen. Actually, I'm trying some new things out on my channel this year. You might have noticed there's not an intro to this video, um, which honestly made me kind of sad, but I was looking at my analytics and uh, my growth has kind of like tanked, which is making me a little nervous. Totally fine with the audience size I have now. Like if this was it forever, I'd still be super happy. You guys are awesome. Um, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't like go down, if that makes any sense, because like I need to still make a living to provide for my family. Um, so one of the things I noticed is that the intros were having a big drop off rate of people clicking out of the videos. So I'm going to experiment with some stuff to try to up viewer retention and grow subscribers again. I also really want to work on filming more cinematic videos. So at least once a month, I want to film a video that's like just really pretty and contains a lot of like kind of macro b-roll shots and stuff like that because i used to do that and i just haven't had time yum, recently yum 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 but yeah that just fuels my creativity and really sparks my love for my job so i want to make sure i'm prioritizing that uh, most of my home goals are cleaning goals i want to vacuum weekly clean the bathrooms at least monthly clean the fridge and pantry every two weeks and i want to finish decluttering my closet i pulled out 
probably like 40 things and I'm going to sell them all and whatnot. Um, so I just need to make sure I schedule that live and get them all up and then sent out so I can get them out of my house. And then for leisure, I want to grow a cut flower garden again. I'm hoping this year will be even bigger and better than last year because I did some fall planting this year, which I didn't last year. I want to sew a dress for Juniper's first birthday. I want to learn how to roller skate and I want to finish my quilt, which I don't actually even know if I've shown you guys on here. I'm gonna go get it so I can show you. So I'm making this quilt. Um, it looks You're more done than it is. <laughs> I am hand stitching it and obviously it's very imperfect, but it has taken forever. So I want to finish this. I've had a lot of people on Instagram ask me to do a video on this because I've been sharing my progress over on there. And that is so finish sweet. It. However, finish it, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm making lots of mistakes, so I'm not the person to learn from. Uh, but if you want to quilt along with me and share your progress on Instagram too, I would love that. But yeah, want to finish this hopefully in the first quarter of this year. It would be great to have this done before spring. <laughs> All right, Matt started to get the bins out, which means it's time to take down Christmas. Typically, I'm always super sad to take down Christmas, but for whatever reason this year, I was like chomping at the bit to do it because I just am craving simplicity. I feel like the house feels a little cluttered right now, even though I love all the cozy Christmas decorations. I just want a clean slate, so I'm actually really excited to do this for once. I'm not. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. All right, we're making good progress. It's lunchtime now, so we're having some leftover pizza, and I think we managed to get everything down except the trees. So the kids are gonna go nap. Matt and I are gonna try to do the trees. I didn't anticipate this taking half the day. No wonder I felt like the house was cluttered. Look at how many boxes we filled up with decor. Oh my gosh, we haven't even done the trees yet. did it. Took most of the day, but it is nice and clean. This is the simplicity that I've been craving. And there's a little girl up. Cause you only slept for 20 minutes, huh? You goofy goober. I love you. All right. I'll give you guys five seconds to guess where we are. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Go comment when you guess down below. If you guess we're at the thrift store, you're right. I feel like I go thrifting in every vlog and it's like not intentional, but I feel like on days when I'm vlogging, sometimes I don't like have a plan to get out of the house and I have to get out of the house at least once a day for my mental health. Um, and I was gonna like have a whole family outing or something tonight, but Matt was like, you know what? I'm feeling a little under the weather. I don't really wanna leave the house. Rowan's still sleeping. I'll watch Juniper. You go and do whatever you wanna do. So we are here looking for a pleated lampshade. And if not a pleated lampshade, then maybe some fabric to try to make our own pleated lampshade. Because I feel like taking all the decorations down, um, it's very nice to have just like a clean, simple space. But it's got me thinking about like ways I could tweak our space to make it more cozy and more fun. And I feel like we have two of the same lamps like right next to each other pretty much in our kitchen and on the hutch. And I think if one of them had a different lampshade, it would look better. So that's what we're going to go do. 
<laughs> little thrifting fun uh got a podcast as always i'm listening to jenna kutcher um the gold digger podcast today and yeah i'm excited to just spend i'm probably just gonna spend like 15 minutes in there just a super quick outing want to make sure i get back before rowan gets up so that matt doesn't have both of them solo while he's not feeling well but a little bit of time out was necessary <music> All right, stop one was a semi-success. I did find a lampshade, but not the right size that I needed. So I got it for a different lamp. And now I'm at the craft store to get some fabric to just kind of make a pleated lampshade out of the lampshade that's already on the lamp. So fingers crossed. I'm looking for like a blue gingham. Hopefully they have something like that. It doesn't seem too complicated, but we will see. All right, I'm home. I stopped for coffee. I asked for a cold brew with cold foam. Um, but it's very light, so I'm a little bit concerned that it's just gonna taste like milk. This place is usually pretty good, though. It's pretty creamy. I might just brew one more shot of espresso into it. Anyways, I do want to show you guys what I got from the thrift store, but first, I'm gonna do this little DIY because I think it's gonna be easier to show you what I got while the kids are awake than it is going to be to do this. So basically, I got this fabric, and I'm going to use it to make kind of like a pleated lampshade sort of a deal. So I'm just going to figure out where I need to cut this. And I'm literally just gonna hot glue it. I found a tutorial on Pinterest on how to do this and I'm just gonna go for it. Finally got myself a nice pair of fabric scissors and man, it makes a huge difference. All right, so it basically looked like I'm just supposed to glue this down and start folding and gluing. It's a no-sew project, so hopefully it goes well. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I just took the fabric off the lampshade now. It's got all the little pleats in it and I'm gonna press it. Honestly, wish I had done this with a less stretchy fabric. The other one I got is just a blue gingham cotton that doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. So I honestly think that will be better, but I still think this will be cute and cozy. Okay, so now I've essentially made bias tape by just pressing the sides of these in toward the middle. I'm gonna press it like that to make the edge and then glue it on. All right, here's the finished product. And I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of hate it. <laughs> it looks so messy because of the stretchy fabric. Um, I might end up redoing it, but I do not have time right now because the kids are awake. I don't know, it definitely looks homemade. <laughs> okay, so I promised I'd show you the rest of the stuff I got. I got this lampshade, which is very pretty. And I also got a few shirts for Rowan. So we have this just like plain sweatshirt. We have a green waffle weave. So I'm trying my best to show this with the baby. And then we have this one, which says cool dude on it. And then I got the quilt rack that you guys saw in the thrift store clips. And I got these picture frames. And that's pretty much it. All right, it's the same night. And I had to show you guys that the second rendition came out much, much better. I think I was rushing the first time around and also the stretchy fabric, um, but I didn't glue down the middle. I'll link the tutorial that I used down below because this actually turned out really cute. Yay. The boys are playing video games. It's time for me to get started on dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but thank you guys for watching and we can't wait to see you in the next one.